Hello everyone. I need to do a book haul. I did take advantage of the Barnes & Noble 50% off hardcover sale as well as the half price books 20% off everything in store sale. So I had a lot of fun. I'll do the Barnes & Noble one first. Honestly the sale was it's so disappointing because Barnes & Noble has cut back on stocking their hardcovers. They just don't have hardcovers like at all. So the fact that they're having a 50% off sale on exclusively hardcovers is kind of bogus. So it was really slim pickings, especially if you were a sci-fi, fantasy, horror, or a romance fan, because most romances are paperback only. First we have What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. I read this earlier this year and I gave it four stars. I really enjoy T. Kingfisher's humor. And this is a horror novella. I really, really liked it. And this was... $9.99. I also bought a spindle splintered by Alex E. Haro. I have not read this. It is a novella but it's like a dark Sleeping Beauty retelling and I've heard good things and this was $8.99. And then I got Everina Maxwell's newest novel which is Ocean's Echo which is in the same world as Winter's Orbit. Winter's Orbit is a sci-fi a, gay, a queer sci-fi I absolutely adore and this is another gay story set in the same universe. This was $13.99. It would, did not have the $5 off included in the 50% off. So that's what I got at Barnes & Noble. I mean three things that I have either been eyeing or already interested in is pretty good. Now these oh, are all the books I got from Half Price Books. I got the Lies of Locke Lamour and Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This has been a fantasy series I've been tentatively interested in for a long time. And these were both $3.59. And so I'm willing to give these a chance for less than $4. I also got Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. I actually really like this cover. I don't own any of Robin Hobb's books. And I actually already have read this trilogy. This is book two in the trilogy, and it's my favorite in the trilogy. So I'm happy to start the collection with this paperback. I think this is actually a really, really cool cover. And this was also $3.59. Then we found my childhood favorite, and I just had to pick it up. This is the original, the first Redwall book by Brian Jacques. This was a huge hit for me as a middle school reader and a lot of my friends were reading this at the same time so I'm glad I found this one and this was $3.99. Probably some of the most exciting finds I found were Legendborn by Tracy Dion in hardcover and then Bloodmarked also by Tracy Dion, the, the sequel in hardcover. So I got Legendborn for seven dollars and 59 cents as a hardcover and then this one was a little bit more expensive this one was 15.99 but it's for a brand new release that's so so cheap so i'm actually really excited because this is an arthurian retelling only in like modern setting and it's uh, about our main character who's kind of going through some grief as she's going to college and gets embroiled in like a secret society Arthurian group, I guess. And I've been interested in this for a long time. I just never picked it up and now I have them. Another book I have picked up and put down like four or five times at the same store is The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This is a fantasy that has to deal with like bone magic and creating little creatures out of bone, which sounds really cool. And I've been eyeing it up for a long time and I just never got it. And this was $7.19. Then we have The Light of the Midnight Stars by Rena Rosner. I have never heard of this, but I was reading the inside flap and I looked up reviews and it seemed pretty good. This is like a historical fiction, fantasy, Jewish folklore inspired story. And it sounded really good. And this was $7.19 as well. The last thing I picked up was a hardcover copy of The City of Brass. And I read this a couple weeks ago and I really enjoyed my second read of this. 
And so I'm going to start collecting the trilogy and hopefully I enjoy the rest of the trilogy as much as I enjoyed the first. This was $10.41. So those are all the books that I bought. So I spent $35 at Barnes and Noble and $63 at Half Price Books for all of those, which is wild. I also forgot my sister got me a bunch of books for Christmas as well and she gave me all queer rom-coms. We've got Queerly Beloved, Paris, Dallincourt is about to crumble, Astrid Parker doesn't fail, and You're a Mean One, Matthew Prince, and I can't wait to get to these. So that's the entire book haul. Now I'm gonna put away all these books. This is my unread shelf now, and to me, this is a lot of unread books. I know I just went shopping and had a few gifts given, but this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> so I think next year in 2023, one of my reading goals is going to be to read this down to nothing, or to the best of my ability, read all of these books next year.